Today we're talking about environmental control systems within greenhouses, say for bedding plants, hydroponic systems, other um, more sort of monitored specific growing systems. And I'm here with um, Amanda Devevec of Wadsworth Control and there are tons of different control systems that you could use for your greenhouse. Um, we have one in particular that's pretty complex and Amanda, I would love for you to describe what the system is, sort of how you would use it. Um, you know, if I was a grower, how would I go about using this and what are the benefits of it? Sure. So this is the EnviroStep Integrated Controller. Um, when Wadsworth Control started in 1952, nobody had anything this sophisticated. Mm. But today, this is now just a simple, single environmental controller that happens to be integrated and computerized. Great. So it's running a one-zone hydroponic greenhouse. Um, this particular range is 30 by about 144, uh -huh. but again, it's just one environmental zone. Great. So this is able to take care of all the equipment that they selected for their greenhouse. Okay, so we have, um, it looks like, you know, automated manual controls. You got it. Um, what, what sort of equipment are we controlling in here? So in particular, we happen to have 12 outputs available in this controller, and they're using gas-fired unit heaters, horizontal airflow fans, mm -hmm. or those HAF fans. We've got roof vents side vents, and an energy and heat retention curtain. Okay, great. So really the heating and cooling of this tunnel or this greenhouse, that's what's most important for th this system. You got it, you got it. And then they have some spare output, so there's always room for expansion. Mm -hmm. And they also happen to add a weather station because in this particular greenhouse, as we mentioned vents. So we would always want to protect the structure, even mm -hmm. though the temperature in the greenhouse might not agree with what's going on. Mm -hmm. If we had high winds or heavy rain, we'd want to protect the structure. Okay, great. So this system is basically intelligent enough to do all the work for you as long as you were able to program in what you wanted it to do. You got it. And the great thing from Wadsworth is we actually program it for you from the start. So you great. always have a head start. Mm -hmm. And then you can come in and customize it to your needs. Okay, wonderful. So um, can you maybe describe like what would, it, what would you do just to set it up or if you needed to do something on here? I see sure. there's an LCD panel. Correct. There's um, sort of a toggle switch, some numbers. Correct. So right now we actually can hear and see some lights coming on and off because it is running in the automatic feature. Uh -huh. But if I wanted to go to manual or off or even in the on position, I can do that. So if I'm working in the greenhouse, I can override things if I wanted to literally say a little bit chilly today or I'm a little bit warm, uh -huh. I can override them. Great. I can also come to the keypad and I could say, hey, let's check the weather today and find out what's our light level. Well, it's 72 milliwatts outside today. Maybe we need to cover the curtain for shade and make sure our lights are turning off. Okay. Very easy to run with a keypad and that LCD screen. Great, super. So, um, you know, a, a, someone who has maybe a smaller greenhouse or a smaller growing operation, they may not need something quite this sophisticated. You do have options for yeah. just, you know, like a heater and maybe the internal um, half fans or the, the vents, right? Correct, correct. So this happens to be our first level in the integrated series, but we also have smaller stage controls that are great entry level environmental controllers for someone that does have that real basic equipment, but doesn't want to rely on multiple thermostats or running in and out and doing it manually. Right, exactly. That's not a smart way to go. No. <laughs> um, and what about, you know, catastrophic failure of uh, power going out? How would this system be protected? Do you have... Um, well, the, yeah, that's a great question. So, for example, this controller happens to be connected to a generator in this house, which mm -hmm. was a super wise decision based on, on this grower's needs. So they obviously said, hey, we might lose power or we might have surges. Let's try to protect the greenhouse in the event that we have no power. Right. It's automatically going to switch over to the EnviroStep and power all the equipment. You don't have downtime and you don't have crop loss. Yes, and that is highly important. Correct. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate all that wonderful information. You're welcome. <laughs>